Good day, my lovely people. Welcome here again to my channel, Eleanor's Chronicles, and my name is Eleanor. My lovely people, let's discuss the issue of pit bulls that are killing us out here. And the owners that seem not to understand that these animals are a danger. They seem to be in denial for the fact, or selfish, because they prefer to uphold their selfish hobby, because I call it a hobby. There's no protection that you can get from something that will kill innocent people. Because the last time I checked, I don't remember seriously a dog protecting anyone from criminals. Because if criminals want an entrance to your home, they will get into your home. It's the same with the gun. It's exactly the same with the gun. The chances of being protected by that thing are very slim, as far as I'm concerned. Yes, they give you a sense of security, but at what cost? Right now in Free State, a three-year-old has been mauled to death has been mauled to death. There's parents who, who have lost a child because of a pit bull. Now we are supposed to feel sorry for the owner whom the community turned on and attacked. For what? You killed somebody's child. Then you go, you get arrested only to get a bail of 300 rands. Because the owner is now on a 300 rand bail for a life. He killed somebody's child and he gets 300 rands bail. Just 300. You killed somebody's child. That's South African justice system for you. You killed somebody's child. Do you understand that that dog belonged to you? Now a child is dead. We've been telling you. And you were telling us that, no, there's nothing wrong with a pit bull. It's just that people don't know how to take care of it. You know, you have to uh, get feed it. Uh, then it's a, a child is dead. Thank you very much. A child is dead. And all, all you can say now is sorry. Sorry for a life. Sorry. Something that could have been prevented by you not having the dog. And people have asked you, have nicely requested you, this thing is a danger. Do you mind removing it from the community? While that is going on in Free State, in Bloemfontein, they've just buried an eight-year-old who was killed by a pit bull inside his own parents' yard, inside his own home. This pit bull broke through the palisade fence into his own safe, into his own safe haven. A child died. Why? Pit bull. Generally, I hate dogs. I really don't care the breed. And I get very annoyed because dog owners are so selfish. How do you own a dog while you don't have a gate? Or make it make sense. Why is your dog on the street? I don't like dogs. And I want to walk on the street. And I don't want to share the street with your dog. At all. Why is your dog on the street? Now, me as a human being, I can't walk the street. I have to go find an alternative route so that I can find another idiot's dog on that street as well. Just um, last month, 
I was trying to go to my aunt's place. Me and my son nearly got attacked by a pack of dogs. They were just walking around by themselves. Police dogs and people were busy telling me, stop screaming. The dogs, that is why the dogs are becoming apprehensive. You're scaring them. How can I not scream? Why are they on the street? <laughs> why? Now I'm so uncomfortable that I can't, that I can't go to that area anymore. Because I'm so traumatized that I feel that that area only barbarians live there who just leave dogs walking around. It's a field day. It's like the zoo. Jurassic Park. Dog owners, you are killing people. Let that sink in. Dog owners, you are killing people. Let that sink in. The dogs are not killing people. You are killing people. You should be held liable for the dog killing someone. How hard is it that if you love dogs, keep them in your yard and have proper fencing, a very long fence, actually cage your house. Because dogs, the last time I checked, they can jump walls. They're very capable of jumping walls. Cage your house. Cage them. Make sure that there's even a fence going all around, even the roof of the entire... That dog must not be able to jump. You'll see the sun the day you come outside of your yard. Because you are killing us. Seriously, this is a serious issue. I have a five-year-old. And I'm supposed to smile and laugh when somebody is walking around with a pit bull. Like we're supposed to say, oh, wow, we have a nice dog. You don't have a nice dog. My son is trying to go to school. Or my son is coming back from school. I don't want no beast on the street. Or any way around where my son is supposed to be. Let alone around where I'm supposed to be. You know, there was a time, I'm sorry, but I just need to make this about color just a little bit. There was a time when we as blacks used to be very angry at white people because they will take their dogs and sit with it at, at the front in, in their vents. Hmm? The, the boar will be driving. Hmm? They'll be going to the to the farm to Burde, and he will be driving. Then his farm worker will be seated in the back. It will be either maybe super hot, it will be raining. It doesn't matter what the elements are outside. But then he did not care to give that space to his worker who is a human being. He would rather give it to the dog. We used to be so mad that whites don't have respect for life. They respect the dog's life instead. Yet today we have reversed. Now it is us. And, and worse, with us, we are letting these dogs kill people. At least the bruised dog was not was not eating the farm worker. At least it was not definitely not eating the farm worker. Yet you as a black man who used to be so angry at that act today are feeding us to your dogs. 
literally feeding us to your dogs. If what the farmers were doing was racism, what do we call what you're doing? Okay, that was racism. Fine, good, sharp. What do we call what you are doing? Because yours is worse. You are feeding me to the dog. Deliberately. Those owners deliberately killed the eight, three-year-old, deliberately killed the eight-year-old. It's the same as spinning a car in a residential area, drifting a car inside a residential area. Then you mow down people or you crash into a house with the entire family. There. That's an intentional act. You can't say sorry. It's a mistake. How? You knew from the moment your head that is filled with water decided to drift or to spin in a residential area that it can happen. You knew it was a residential area. Hmm? What's supposed to happen now that life is lost? We lost life. SPCA says, no, don't take the law into your hands. Don't kill the dog. Uh, if the dog threatens to bite, you must not head it. Uh, call us. Excuse me. Excuse me, SPCA. Here's a dog. That is posing a danger to me. Do you think I have time to say, oh, wait, you look like you're dangerous. Don't bite. Wait for me to call SPCA. Why is SPCA not going out there, looking here on the streets and collecting all these dogs that are annoying us on the streets and arresting the owners, arrest the owners, partner with the police, Arrest the owners. After all, the police have nothing to do. They are scared of hardcore criminals. So they definitely they will have time to go hunt down the owners of these dogs. Seriously, I'm very upset. Condolences to the parents of the three-year-old and the eight-year-old because seriously, things that are happening in South Africa, it's hard to imagine, you know. It, it's, it makes it even hard to sleep because, you know, for those who are like me who have serious phobia of dogs, and you're staying in a township, seriously, dog owners are making our lives a living hell. And they don't even appreciate Then somebody will tell you, no, don't worry, it doesn't bite. Why are you keeping it then? Why does it have teeth then? Hmm? Will you say a, a cat doesn't scratch? Why do you think it has loss? Seriously, people are inconsiderate. Can we just be a little bit kinder? To human beings before animals, preferably. Because if we were as nice to each other as we are to these animals, because somebody doesn't mind giving their pit bull a whole steak 
500 grams steak while their neighbor is going to bed hungry. Sis, sis, man. Yes, it's your money, we understand. But sis, still. I don't know how you feel about this, but Mina, when it comes to this one, I get really heated up. Please write your comments down below and tell me what do you think about the situation that we're in with uh, the dog owners? And if you're a dog owner, do you have the appreciation of the next person's life? Especially when that person says, all I need to do is walk in the street without fear. I have no problem never ever coming to your house. That one I can do. Even if your family, I can ban you from my list of people I'll ever want to visit. Because even now, family members that have own, that have dogs know, know that they will never see me in their yard. I don't even care whether you tell me you will take it to the cage, you will lock it in a room. I don't give a damn. I'm not coming to your house. So, do you have an appreciation that we really, really don't want an encounter with your dogs? If I want to see animals, I'll go to the zoo. When I'm on the street trying to go to the shop or trying to take a walk, I really don't want a dog anywhere next to me or a cow or a chicken or an anything. Which is why I stay in an urban area and not a rural area where I can find cows everywhere. Is it possible? that dog owners can be just considerate. Does that word even feature in their dictionaries? 